Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today Microsoft rolled out new dev build for Windows 11, and the build number for this is 22489. And as usual, a watermark is also here. If you want to remove it, follow the guide from the i button. Microsoft started rolling out a new entry point for your Microsoft account under settings account. Many insiders may not see it as Microsoft is beginning this rollout to a very small set of insiders, and then ramping it up over time. Clicking this new entry point will bring you to a new settings page that displays information related to your Microsoft account, including your subscriptions for Microsoft 365, links to order history, payment details, and Microsoft rewards. This allows you to access your Microsoft account directly within settings in Windows 11. To improve consistency, Microsoft is updating the name of the Connect app to now be wireless display. This app is a feature on demand, FOD, and can be enabled by going to settings apps optional features. Also, Microsoft is splitting up apps and features and settings into two pages under apps, installed apps, and advanced app settings. And a reminder from Microsoft, that Windows Sandbox now works on ARM64 PCs. Microsoft also made some fixes like, app icons on secondary monitors should draw more reliably now instead of being blank. Stopped an explorer.exe crash that was happening sometimes, when using the desktop's flyout context menu. Fixed an explorer.exe crash that was happening sometimes, when dismissing the desktop's flyout. Pin to quick access, is a top level option now, when right clicking a drive in file explorer. Microsoft also improved context menu launch performance. Also made a few fixes to help improve explorer.exe reliability when using file explorer. Closing windows in task view, should look less jumpy now. Microsoft did some work to help address an issue that was causing flickering in the app window when resizing certain apps in recent dev channel builds. Addressed an issue that was causing settings to crash in certain cases after going to Windows Update. Also added a space that was missing in the search results when searching for touch keyboard settings. Fix a settings crash when trying to customize options in wheel settings. And now from this build onwards, if animations are turned off, dismissing a notification using the X will no longer have an animation. Fix an issue that was causing the media controls to not show up in quick settings sometimes when music was playing recently. Also believed to have impacted hardware media key usage. And the tooltip for the Wi-Fi option in quick settings should no longer fly to the top of the screen. So that was all the changes and fixes made in this build. If you want to know more, check out the official link below. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.